me, Katie Beth again. And today, I wanted to make an accessory to go with this dress I made. I originally was making it to wear to Taste of Knots for Halloween, and I thought they would have another one this month, but it turns out the one from last month is just lasting this month, and all of the tickets are sold out. So I wasted my day to wear a cool costume on just a t-shirt. I still really love this dress. I initially designed it to be a sundress, out of an old Oktoberfest costume pattern. So I did lift the chest a bit. My bra still kind of peeks out the side if I don't wear an undershirt. So I made this black Oktoberfest outfit to wear with this dress. And I want to make it into a cute witch dress. Like a Peanuts themed witch dress. Would have been real cool to wear Knott's Berry Farm if I did my planning better. But I feel like the main accessory I need to go with this now is a cool witch hat. So today's handcraft, hand sewn hump day is going to be on making a cool witch hat. Now I don't want to make the traditional wicked styled witch hat that's just the pointed Wizard of Oz witch hat. I want to make the cute hipster looking witch hat that I keep seeing on Instagram and Facebook. They keep trying to get me to buy those, which I actually got pretty close to ordering one one time. But I feel like it's something I can just make with all of you guys and we can share in that experience. So I have two fabric choices. I have this felt that I bought on sale at Joann's one time. Other than that it was half price, I don't know why I would have bought it because I really need lots of black felt for absolutely nothing. And then I have this softer black fabric. It's like a fleece, but I don't want to starch this hat. It might take too long and be too stiff, and it would defeat the purpose of using a really nice soft fleece. So I think I'm going to at least initially try with this black felt. So I've already sort of designed the hat that I want to make. Just this black simple hat. But I also was thinking I'd put like a black ribbon around it and maybe some black flowers. Maybe use these flowers I have back here. So I was thinking first I need to cut out the hat piece. Um, kind of like a weird curve type of cone-ish. And then sew it together in the back. And then for the brim, make a separate brim with kind of a hole in the middle that I can attach up into the middle of the cone was my first design. And then my second design, I was thinking maybe I could just do it all in one piece, but just has one seam. So I would just make one long piece and kind of cone it down and then sew it together down the center. But that doesn't seem like it'll work too well the more I thought about it. So I think I'm just going to go with my first type of design. All right, now that we're all on the same page, let's go get witchy with this and make a cute witch hat. Getting witchy with it. Starting out, I grabbed my large piece of felt and laid it out on my cutting board. But before I did anything else, I decided to make a tiny model of what I thought I would need as the shape. But when I brought things together, it didn't quite shape out the way I thought it would need to. So then I decided to make another tiny model. And this one I had just folded in half and kind of cut the top to the type of shape I thought it would need to be. And I was a little happier with this one, so I decided that was the shape I was going to cut out. But before I cut anything out, I went ahead and measured my head to make sure the hat would even fit. And my large head turned out to be 23 inches. So I decided I'd cut the hat to be 24 inches, so I had a little room, a little extra room in case I made any mistakes or just sewing it together. I cut off the bottom piece of the felt because I wanted to make sure I had a nice straightish edge. And I'm just cutting in at about 12 inches because that's about half of 24. And I'm just cutting the shape that I wanted the hat to have. Now I just have to sew that piece together. And after I cut the threads off, I just right side outed it, and so the opposite of inside out. And 
And this is the hat that I came up with. I was happy that the general idea worked out, but it wasn't quite the hat I was thinking that I wanted. It's a little too tall, so the next version of this hat I made a lot shorter. And it was definitely more of the look that I was going for. I love that shape, but I thought I wanted it down a little further. So since I liked that hat so much, I went ahead and just cut it apart. And I thought maybe if I cut the pattern from what I had already made, I could avoid having as big of a front seam. But the front seam gave it so much of that curve that I wanted, I really couldn't avoid having a front seam altogether. So I still had to cut into the felt so that it would have that sewing seam. And this one you can see I made a little sharper of a hat edge, kind of a little more smurfy. And I actually really liked this one. It wasn't quite the hat that I was going for originally, but I liked it. Next I worked on the brim, and I thought like paper snowflakes, I could just cone it up and cut into it and it would make a circle, but it made half a circle, but it was close enough to what I wanted. But I did notice I wanted the brim to be shorter, so I went ahead and cut that shorter. And then because I only had half a circle, I needed to cut another half to make a hole. I could have just cut out a full circle, but I didn't want to waste any extra fabric. Then I put the top of the hat on it to see what it would look like with a brim. And I really liked that, so I went ahead and sewed the brim together. I measured it out and decided if it was about four inches out that I liked the brim being. So then I snowflaked it back up and cut into it about four inches. And I seemed to really like that. So then I went ahead and cut into this edge just so it would be able to lay down flat a little better. And at first I thought I could just pin it down and sew it like that, but then when I turned it around, I realized that was a mistake because it would have a raw edge on either side of the hat. So I went ahead and unpinned that and then pinned the two edges together like you do in regular sewing with the two good faces facing each other and the two ugly sides on the outside. But when I did that, I had all this extra fabric so then I realized I just had to separate the little cuts I made to make that wider. And that seemed to work out just fine, so I went ahead and sewed the hat together. And then I really liked the outcome. Just the seam was a bit wide, so I went ahead and trimmed that down. So I am so flippin' excited about how these hats turned out. Here's my main one. I did make the brim a little wider than I initially thought I would. I thought I was gonna make a shorter one, but I kinda like the floppy hat look. And it does have it kinda curving in the back, little hipster slouch style. And initially I also wanted to put a ribbon around, probably an orange ribbon for this, and then these black flowers up on it but I can't find any orange ribbon and I don't really want to go shopping for any. And I like how versatile it is just being plain, but if I do end up wearing it outside of the house, I probably will decorate it to match whatever dress that I'm wearing at the time. Ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, so the next hat, whoop. My hair looks so boring without a hat on now, is this one. It almost looks like a Peter Pan hat, which turns out now I know how to make Peter Pan hats. But this is more of like the hipster style, just without a brim. I actually ended up liking it without a brim. It's a little trendy hipster witch hat. I'm a pretty big fan of this one. When my hair kind of poofs it out. With my big hair, the, the brim does look better, but I also like this style. And with braids or pigtails, super cute. The last one is the initial one I tried making and ended up not liking it because it was too big. Well, I did trim it down some. 
And it's going to be my boyfriend's witch's and wizard's hat for Halloween. And so I feel like the tallness of it makes it more masculine, but he'll wear it with his Harry Potter costume. I'm a little prematurely revealing my house's costumes this year. All my roommates and I decided that this year our theme is Harry Potter. Jason and I are Slytherins, Ashley and Mel are Gryffindors, and Kayla is a Hufflepuff. So we'll have a little bit of a group in there. Switching back into my normal witch hat. And now that I've revealed what our costume choice will be this year, I'll let you in a little early on the secret about what next week's handcraft hand sewn hump day will be. It'll be Harry Potter themed, and it'll be on the work that I'm doing in creating our capes. I'll be excited to share that with you next week. Everyone that's here today, if you're still watching, thank you so much. If you haven't already, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe below. If not, it's a super big help just to have you here watching with me. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day. So I just went outside to bring our recycling bin back in. So my neighbors got to see a little witch in a cute little witch hat dragging behind a giant blue recycling bin. Not quite the witch with the broom stereotype. I'm sure it was still pretty funny to see. Getting witchy with it. Getting witchy with it. Getting witchy with it. Getting witchy with it.